Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight we're going to go to France and California and we're going to be reviewing Goodwin Company Classic Gin. Right here, right now. Team Joe! Right, so we're going to France. This is a spirit from Diego Spirits. We're at 40% and the botanicals are juniper, coriander, orange, lime, then it says citrus, <laughs> cucumber. Inspired by pioneering herbalists and naturalists who mine nat nature's bounty for the beneficial properties of local and exotic plants, Goodwin Gin is a stylish blend of botanical flavors, notes of juniper, citrus, coriander, and a hint of cucumber. Made in France, but bottled here in California. Not too much is known of this gin. I could not find that many uh, articles, reviews. I couldn't even find a, uh, a website for this. So we're going to go into it like we always do. It's a very soft note coming off of the juniper. It's definitely up front, the juniper. So you know, that's a good sign. Hmm. I do smell coriander and I do smell citrus as well. I could see corn legging, so we know that it is grain corn tonight. Salute. not that bad to be honest with you it's not a bad gin it tastes very close to a London dry it does have a little contemporary though because of the cucumber it's, it, it has an essence in the background on the finish um, the burn is actually pretty nice and traveled well uh, low and slow like I like juniper is definitely up front um, then we have a little bit of the citrus a little herbage right behind that um, finished with that garden taste of uh, uh, cucumber. Uh, definitely want to do a martini with this since it's a uh, nice London dry style almost with a little contemporary. Um, right here I got two fresh cubes of ice, cracked one of them and here's a quarter ounce of the dry vermouth. Here's two ounces of our Goodwin. I already got a lemon swatch, expressed oils with, you know, three olives and there's a lot of oil out of that lemon so I'm gonna mix the uh, bitters tonight and just ride on that ever twirling ever swirling ever whirling very important tool in the arsenal of gin, cocktails in general. Now that looks good. You have to admit that. Mm, I can smell that lemon essence right away. Salute. This is not a bad gin for a martini. In fact, I think it would play well in a gin and tonic as well. Too bad I don't have any more. <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes getting these little guys, it's worth it. Cause say you hate it and you spent $24, that's the retail of this, uh, $7.50, and you spend $1.25 on this, oh, you're not gonna be that upset. But this, my friends, is absolutely delicious and um, you guys should be jealous of me right now because I'm enjoying it you're not hopefully you made yourself one uh, or something similar definitely with gin in it though and uh, we could have a cocktail together right here mmm well from me to you to you to me and everyone here in the middle of the states from sea to shining sea thank you guys so much for coming back have another cocktail with me the gin Joe we'll do it uh, again and again and i'll uh, see you guys on tuesday ciao
best. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up. And as always, the Jinjo will be coming out with new reviews. You know when you know there's a happy Joe? When there's ribs that just came off the smoker, brisket, homemade barbecue sauce, little mac and cheese over here, some corn on the cob that was smoked. Oh, coleslaw. And of course, potato salad. Maybe I'm missing summer? No, I'm just missing the taste. Wish you guys are here. <laughs> baby back, baby back, oh my god.